KKNK TV presents Talk on Yoga by Krishna Bhatt on International Yoga Day. Welcome to uh, KKNK TV and we are going to talk about yoga today because of the Yoga International Day. Um, it's a great recognition and you can see this book which is the Patanjali Yoga Sutram um, and uh, Patanjali can be termed as father of yoga and it's so great to see a recognition by UN, United Nations, um, for the um, great technology that has been around us for thousands of years. It doesn't belong to a nation, it doesn't belong to a religion, it belongs to everyone. And the recognition, the very fact that UN has recognized it is a day for us to be proud of. Patanjali talks like formulas. He's a scientist. It seems that yoga probably was present for thousands of years, even before Patanjali. Patanjali put them into a book format or, or communicated in shlokas. And the first shloka is Atha Yoga Anushasanam. And this is so interesting that he just says now the discipline of yoga. So discipline of yoga is the first parameter that he puts in. And we can understand that. Suppose um, you or me go into army. We know that we have to follow the discipline of army. We go in a school, we know that we have to follow the discipline of school. More important than that, and in my mind that's more important than the person or you or me following a routine, is going to an institution that has um, routines, that has discipline. So in my lecture on spiritual infrastructure, on Gita today, I have mentioned this thing as well, that spiritualism should be followed and should be researched and should be examined and uh, determined by places which have discipline, which have already the infrastructure there. A school or a college has discipline, has dedicated young people who are ready to explore the world, explore and research. Army has a similar situation. They have a very sound discipline. We can have yoga uh, flourish there, and if someone has an aptitude, they can go into yoga um, in that formation as well. The second one is also a very uh, profound uh, um, shloka. Yoga chitta vritta nirodha, and translation in English is yoga is cessation of mind. It's interesting that Patanjali starts with mind. He doesn't say you will get fitness. He doesn't say you will have stress relief. He doesn't say you you will get peace of mind, and he doesn't say that you will get rid of some illnesses. He says you will get rid of mind, and then the journey starts. That's not the end point itself. The journey starts from no mind. Once you know that there is something beyond mind, that something that energy once you know that you can then explore the world differently uh, without using the mind and the third point i want to bring today is the sound om it is a sound that is felt by people when they are in meditation that's the ultimate sound when there is no sound there is om om is the sound that was felt by people in the east whether it is uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, um, Om it becomes part of it. If you go west, the same sound in deep meditation was felt as Amen. With this, I finished this talk because this is a Yoga International Day, the first one. Um, I wanted to bring these three points. One is the discipline, discipline that's needed uh, for doing yoga. And also, you can put yourself in a place where there is discipline. You can uh, join an institution, you can go and join a school, you can jo go and join uh, yoga classes, and that way you can have the discipline and the routine built into your life. The second point is the fact that mind to no mind journey, and then journey beyond that. And third one is Om is the soundless sound or the ultimate sound. And uh, with this, thank you very much for joining me you know, on this wonderful day of uh, Yoga International Day or World Yoga Day. There will be Om Dhun which you can um, 
listen to close your eyes and let it work on your solar plexus or near the navel or the third chakra and uh, you'll feel really um, wonderful if you let it work there uh, for a certain period of time kknk tv presents 